Galnet News Digest, 21st of June 3304. We read the news so you don't have to. In this week's news. Apprehended assassins assist alliance. Tharg's tactical withdrawal. Unexplained images cause concern. Tax dodge benefits Colonia. Apprehended assassins assist alliance. Operators working for the Alliance Interpol are celebrating a victory in their battle to foil the Nexus League of Reparation activists. In an elaborate sting operation, they publicised the whereabouts of one of the League targets, Dinah Law, a descendant of INRA employee Tristan Law, and staked out her apartment. When the League of Reparation assassins came calling, armed Alliance officers managed to detain them and have taken them to a secure detention facility for questioning. Miss Law is reported to be unharmed, and Interpol Chief Inspector Kay Kilbride claims to have already gained significant relevant information that may help them identify and locate the ringleaders, the shadowy criminals known as Nexus. Although the League's motivation is unknown, it seems likely that their targets are more than just distant relations of former INRA employees, leading to widespread speculation that some part of the former INRA continues to operate in secret, strengthening suspicions that Aegis may have ties to that controversial organisation. Tharg's Tactical Withdrawal Tharg the Mighty Lord of Polaris, Emperor of the Call 70 Sector and Prince of the Pleiades, has denied vehemently that his battle fleet is in disarray following six consecutive weeks of setbacks, and has today at last managed to successfully attack a new station, Hennepin Prospect in Asinda. The Thargoid assault on Gurney Oasis in Kambila was successfully repelled. Tharg is amused by the press reports. Only a few hours before he brought low Hennepin Prospect, Admiral Aidan Tanner had been crowing about the success of his Aegis organisation in driving the Thargoids back from the human-infested part of the galaxy. Tharg notes that several starports have now reopened, and that humanity believes it has gained the upper hand. Tharg chuckles. But Tharg is puzzled by the message now being relayed by the Eagle Eye Network. Tharg has long known about this network of spy satellites and has been feeding it false information, such as the location of abandoned INRA bases. This week, he's turned off the feed of data to the Eagle Eye Network, but the message it's now transmitting is one he didn't expect. The message is instructing human commanders to initiate something called Protocol Xeno 55. Tharg wonders what this unknown protocol might be, and will be monitoring commander behaviour closely. In any case, Tharg reflects, he has a few very unpleasant surprises awaiting his adversaries. He's had to delay their launch for four weeks due to software defects found during testing, but now they're ready to go. In just seven days from now, on Thursday the 28th of June, he will reveal them in all their terrible truth. Tharg likes Thursdays. Unexplained images cause concern. Two leaked photographs have resulted in confusion this week. The first shows a Thargoid scout apparently targeting another Thargoid scout using green laser beams. It's unclear what this might mean. Some have speculated that there might be two factions of Thargoids fighting each other, one with red lasers and the other with green. But there's so far been no evidence of more than one sort of Thargoid. The origin of the photograph is unknown, and without context, it's of limited value. The other photograph is more intriguing, apparently showing one of the Thargoid's surface bases on fire with its roof caved in, surrounded by smouldering debris. 
There's widespread but ill-informed speculation that Aegis may have developed a death ray. Other, slightly better informed opinion suggests that perhaps Stephen Usher has persuaded the Lave radio crew to take a cutter load of Guardian artefacts to the site. This second photograph has inexplicably vanished and would have been lost forever were it not for the many thousands of independent commanders who took copies of it before it disappeared. Tax Dodge Benefits Colonia A massive tax-deductible donation means that Colonia commanders will at last have somewhere to store their fleet. Owner and Chief Executive Officer of Rackham Capital Investments, the eponymous Zachary Rackham, claims that he's supporting Colonia because it embodies the frontier spirit he remembers from his youth, and that he wants to give a boost to a new generation of explorers. Rackham, better known as Calico Zack, made his money smuggling bio-waste out of Sothis, and is believed to have faced an unfeasibly large federal tax bill, and to have been advised by his accountant, Price, Deloitte, Ernst and Gonad, to ditch as much cash as he could in some dead-end part of the galaxy. And that's this week's Galnet News. Galnet News, we read the news, so you don't have to.